Hi, I'm Senator Shelley Moore Capito, and this is my weekly Senate update. This week, the Senate debated legislation that sets our nation's defense spending priorities. This is one of Congress's primary responsibilities and a responsibility we should all take seriously, especially when it comes to providing for our military. When I met our troops in the Middle East earlier this year, it reinforced to me how important this legislation is for our troops, their families, and the security of our country. The troops deserve our unified support and should not be subject to the gridlock that's been all too common in recent years. In other news, a federal court this week denied West Virginians' challenge to the EPA's harmful clean power plan. While I am disappointed with the court's decision, I remain confident in the merits of this case and believe that the court will ultimately strike down the administration's unprecedented power grab. This ruling further underscores the need for my bill, the ARENA Act, which will roll back the misguided clean power plan and protect affordable, reliable energy and jobs. If we are going to get West Virginia's economy growing again, we must also expand access to high-speed broadband in rural areas. That's why I recently introduced my Capito Connect plan. In a letter to the Broadband Opportunity Council this week, I also called for federal help to bridge the digital divide. Since announcing my Capito Connect plan, I've heard from a number of you around the state, and I urge you to continue writing, emailing, and calling my office to share your broadband stories with me. Together, we can ensure West Virginia has the tools it needs to compete in a 21st century economy. For more news from my office and to sign up for our newsletter, please visit www.capito.senate.gov. Thanks.